so we want to complete our roof and what we want to do today is to draw the curtain wall to cover the part uh, last time after editing our roof we had uh, the top part was uh, like empty you can yeah i want to cover it so i'm going to the curtain wall and talk to me a curtain wall and you have this scheme in the scheme i'm going to delete uh, this one i don't want it and of course i'm going to leave the one at the middle so i want to change to 300 i'm going i'm going to switch to 300 then then what i'm doing now is editing the f the we have those frames i want them to be standard 45 uh, millimeter 45 mm 45 mm so once we're done uh, and of course after everything i will also want to change the um, surface texture for the set i want to use a texture of uh, the black texture is called uh, paint anthracite paint anthracite so all now what i have to do is just to repeat the same thing of course that was the corner frame now i'm going to the boundary frame and i also want it to be 45 mm 45 mm 45 mm just repeating the same thing and changing the surface from metal ion to anthracite it's just a repetition of the same same thing you repeat and repeat until you get tired or maybe you don't get tired but you get the thing so you can use any other material to cover that top part if you want you can use wood or any other thing that you want to use but for me i prefer the cutting wall because um whenever i render the drawing comes out nice so yeah that's why i'm choosing this then on, i'm choosing this then on the panels i'm going to switch on the textures which was glass blue of course you can change this one later in the rendering software if you want to maybe use a glass that is uh, reflective so once i'm done and of course I've, I've gone to the second story and that's where i want to draw my curtain wall so i'm going to draw it uh, where you remember we had uh, edited our roof in the previous video so on the sides that i did edit my roof and i want to rotate i want to this is what we have so far of course so i'm going to have to draw this on all the ends or on each side i have to repeat so but you can just drag because this one already looks good i'm going to drag a copy which you press ctrl shift and d then you can drag it to place or where you want it to be and after that you just repeat the same thing of course i'm going to drag and drag on the um so i'm doing on all the sides that i had edited before i'm going to place this uh my cutting wall on all the sides and you just make sure that where you have placed it it's okay like uh when you go to trim it it will look nicer so this one i'm just extending i want it to be longer because uh, it is shorter on this edge. it is shorter on this edge after we edited the roof it was a little bit longer so yeah and of course this is how it looks like so far in 3d and i want to make it you can see it is shorter so you press it then ctrl t i'm going to raise it to 1800 and yeah that's okay once i trim it it will be okay so then i go to the next side you just repeat the same thing in most of these things and i think also there is a tutorial on the same that we did in the past when we were designing a certain roof so it is more i think the difference between that design and this one there is a little difference here yeah, yeah there is but you can also check it out i will remember to leave a link and you can try to look at it and see how you are doing it in that video and how you are doing it in this one so 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 far so good it looks nice and after this i think uh, it's just tri trimming so once you trim it looks more nicer so to trim you select the you select 
what you what you want to trim so i'm selecting the curtain walls and then i will click on the roof because i want to trim it with respect to the considering you trim something with you trim something against the roof or um, sometimes if you have drawn using a what do we call the shell tool you can also use the shell tool to trim something so just clicking on the wall on the curtain wall and then i select the roof and i right click then i'm going to choose once you right click you go to choose connect then trimming bodies and you hit ok just repeating the same thing over and over and over again or everything at once all the curtain walls at once then you select the roof and you trim it once that one is easy as well or sometimes if you want you can switch on the trimming command then you just select the wall that you want and yeah you trim it there are more there's a lot of tricks to use so what you want to do now i think uh let me move this one i want to make it look uh, more nice it looks a little bit small so i want to move it further like to edit it and to increase the um, what do we call it but you can just see what i want to do at least it will look more better of course it still looks better but you want it to look more nicer and always remember to subscribe to our channel and i will really appreciate if you watch these things on youtube and not downloading some people download this stuff and then they call you stuff and then they call you they want you to help them something for free and they have downloaded this stuff like it doesn't make sense because if you download it and you call me you tell me that you're watching my video it is like you want me to thank you why should i thank you if you have downloaded the video and i'm not getting anything so this is how it looks and of course i have to move the curtain wall because it was far back since we have now moved um, we have now changed where our roof was and actually it looks nicer so to this point i think uh, the next point we're going to add in some more flavor to the drawing and then what you want to do is maybe people can do a challenge on rendering then you will see how it comes out